Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to understand about convolution neural network and what convolution is. So let's get started. Convolution neural network is a type of neural network which is used for finding pattern in images to recognize objects, classes and categories. CNN can be used in real life problems like facial recognition, medical imaging, autonomous driving and biometric authentication. A CNN is basically composed of uh, one input layer, then many hidden layers and an output layer. It is very similar to any neural network, deep learning neural network. Now to understand what convolution is, first we should understand about images, like what are images and how they are represented in our computer and how they are understood by our computer. So to understand about images, let us move on to our uh, whiteboard part and let me take you through about few, few concepts of images. So basically images uh, are represented in our computer in RGB format and they are represented with the help of pixel values. Pixel values are nothing, they are numeric values in the range of 0 to 255. So our uh, pixel value can be of 0 to 255. And you can see that this is a particular one image which is represented in RGB format. So when an image is represented in RGB format, you can think of that there are three component planes which are stacked on top of each other. So you can see the here we have one component as red component, the another component is green component and the, there is one more component, blue component. So if we kind of stack on top of each other these component, then there will be some pixel value and those pixel value will constitute our image. So if I uh, show you the, the same thing in the form of pixels, so something like this. So here is this image is with pixel values. So this image is with the pixel value. You can see that, let's say if I talk about this particular pixel A, this is my pixel A, where uh, this is my red component, this is my uh, green component, and this is my blue component. So each component have value between, uh, numeric value between 0 to 255. So this represents one pixel. The same way there are many pixels. The Another example is like this one, uh, pixel B. So here, a red component value is 127 and then green component uh, image plane value is 255 and uh, the blue component is zero. So this represents my pixel B. The same way, uh, all of these uh, cell value uh, cell have some values in form of numerical values and it these values are in the range of 0 to 255. So this is how uh, images are represented in our computers. Now, before moving on to our convolution part, uh, I would like to take you through one more concept, which is basically filters. And filters are used in the process of convolution. Now, now the question arises, what are filters? Filters are nothing, but uh, you can think of filters are a matrix initialized with some random values. So, and this, matrix can have any num uh, like n cross n dimension. When I say n cross n, n could be like uh, 3, n could be like 5, n could be like 4, it could be anything. So if uh, if I talk about 3 by 3 filter, this 3 by this is a 3 by 3 filter, which could look like something like this. And it has uh, been initialized with some random values like uh, the, this cell has 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 1. So these filters are initialized with some random values and uh, just like we do in the uh, in our artificial neural network uh, we have weights initialized with some random values in form, in our convolution neural network we have filters and filters are nothing but they are a uh, 2d matrices um, which is uh, which could have like n cross n dimension and they are initialized with some random values and do after the training they keep updating their values. Now, let us move on towards the uh, our convolution part. Let's say we have this filter and this is our image. So my image have, let's say, pixel value 1, 1, 1. And these uh, values which are in small letters or small numbers, these are my pixel, uh, sorry, uh, filter values. So you can think of that. I just picked my filter and put it on my image. So then I will do some mathematical calculation. So what mathematical calculation we do is like, let's say for this uh, region where my filter is put. Uh, so I will do the multiplication of these values. So one into one is one 
and then 1 into 0 is my 0 and then 1 into 1 is my 1 so i will do multiplication and then we'll add the value so 0 into 0 is my 0 and so this 1 into 1 this one this 1 into 1 is again my 1 and then this 1 into 0 is my 0 and then this 0 into 1 is my again 0 and then 0 into 0 is my 0 and the same way this 1 into 1 is my 1 so you can see 1 2 3 4 then i'll add all these so this 4 is written here so like this way this 4 is written here then same way uh, i will just pick my filter uh, and put on the next rows and we'll calculate the value for this cell and this then this cell and this cell this cell this cell and all the values are then filled so this matrix which is generated after applying a filter on my image this new there is a new matrix generated and this matrix is termed as convolved feature or convolved matrix so if i uh, take you through the complete uh, how this particular works so you can see like this way so this is my uh, matrix uh, this is my image and this is my uh, convolved feature so it is what is it is doing it it just puts the filter and calculate the mat, uh, matrix multiplication and then add those value and then um, then put that value into my new matrix so this process of uh, applying filter onto an image is called as um, our convolution so that's all for this video guys and we will understand the next concept about the convolution neural network in our next video if you uh, really like this video please uh, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends and if you don't like it uh, please let us know what should be improved and we will definitely work on that so till the next video bye bye take care thank you